This is the new Stabycraft 1550 Frontier. I've been very excited about this boat and I've been waiting for it to turn up for about four months now since the product was released by Stabycraft and I've been super keen to get my hands on one to give it a test to show you guys what this boat can really do. Tomorrow we've got a pretty cool trip lined up. I'm just about to load it up for the first time full of gear. We've got a lot of fishing gear um, and a bit of camping gear to go in there. Ready for a fishing and floundering trip tomorrow night where we're going to go and camp overnight. I'm actually going to camp on the boat and one of my mates is going to come and camp on the beach and we're going to go and chase some flounder once the sun goes down and the tide goes out. So we're looking pretty forward to that. So I better get packing up and get the boat all ready to go and we'll see you tomorrow. Um, let's get there. Yeah, we need to get, get in there to get the tide. I feel like we're pretty well weighted. Yep. Got the weight. We'll be right. You know I said just Alright, well we just made it into the inlet that we was hoping to get to. It took us about oh, 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Pretty stoked because it was blowing a bit of easterly and westerly, a bit of a change on the way and we didn't get any droplets of water on our glasses. So pretty impressed with the dryness of this boat so far. But um, now we've just come into the channel here. We're gonna try and target a few salmon for tea. And once we get a couple of them, we might go and anchor up with the other boats and um, cook up a feed. So let's try and catch a salmon. Get it away from the boat. First dog in the 1550. Trolling for salmon and you've pulled this one out of the bag. Oh, that's... Oh, bro. Look at First the size of that. 1550. Let that bail arm go. Wow. Ooh. That's pretty big. That's a great size. Oh, it looks way easier. There Pretty you go. nice flathead. Sucks can't, by Brock. sucks can't pick it up. Yeah, it'd be good if you could pick it up. Sucks oh, well, doesn't. That's too nice for fish to keep, so we might let him go. Oh, there he goes. Look at that. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? It's cruising back to the bottom. Oh, you done well. Nice. Oh, well, we've got a few oh, salmon here. They've, they've gone everywhere. A few little salmon for that little fish there, but um, wasn't much about. I'm just going to run them through the scale bag now. Just got them in that little tumbler bag there. Chuck that out the back, and as we go along, we'll take all the scales off, and they'll be good to go for tea. So make it nice and easy. Oh, shoot up into this channel. So we just pulled up here where we're going to be anchoring the night. Um, just anchored up beside the two other stabies where we took a few drone photos and videos, which was pretty cool. Now we're just going to go and re-anchor ready and cook up a feed for tea and then um, hopefully get out for a flounder. We've got some pretty awesome conditions at the minute, which is cool. She's super flat. Rock's pulled the anchor in for them. <laughs> no, but we've got the... Andrew Savage in his 2250 Ultra Centicab and Paul Wilson in the 2400. So two pretty cool boats and yeah, they'll look pretty good alongside the 1550. So we might go and set the anchor and cook a feed, which would be good.
what a night. It's pretty awesome. He just caught his three and then oh yeah. it was unreal. Yeah. Well, I tried to do it, I couldn't do it. Yeah. Chips and stuff, yeah. Got the 2400 over there and the 1550 just here. And then we come around here, got the 2250, so pretty cool lineup. Brock's getting changed. Brock's getting changed because his weight is leak. Awesome preparation. <laughs> Plenty of these nice blue spot flathead getting around. Usually like to leave these ones though. They're a bit big for what we want. Oh, there he goes. Must be Don't mind me. Right, we're ready to go. <laughs> oh, look, he's even got double bags. We're coming home big. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> Here, you keep coming in front of me. You come in front of me and. Spirit, you'll see it in a minute. It's a big one. There he is. Thank you. Oh, the puffer fish. The it's puffer fish went over the top of it. And... Oh no. Thank you. He's really got to show him who's the boss. Oh, perfect. You let him die. Scoop him up. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Oh, he's a big one, this one. Perfect. Put him in my bag. Oh, oh here's, the, oh. here's a tough one. <laughs> it's big for a blue spot. How cool does that look? Poke the tail with your spear. Whoa, cruised off. Big boy. Wow. That is a big one. Wow, you've got him. Scoop him up nicely. Oh, <laughs> that actually is a thumper. What's that on it? It's got a leech on it. Look at the... Just try to scrape them off. Or... Oh, we'll fix them when we clean them, I reckon. That is a big flounder. Perfect. That's the sound we want to hear. Show them the water in there. Yeah, boy. Oh, nice. Beautiful shot. Oh. Oh. Well, it's just here somewhere. Is it? Yeah. Can you? Sure, he's like right there. <laughs> oh. oh, it is just there. Hang on, now we've now we've got it. Got on the chase. I can still see it. I'm still looking at it. It's stopped. I think. Where is it? Oh, Charles on it! Oh, that's a oh, massive flathead. Look at the size of that flathead. That, that is huge. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> that is a massive flathead. That's huge. That was like, I reckon that's up there to 70 centimetres. Should spear it just so we measure. Oh. And that was a big plan too that we... I was on that... What well, was on that foot head? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, the head torch Here, on. take two spears. Take that spear. And get one and then the other. See the two? There's the other. There. And the... They are massive. The See, there's one there and then one there. What's this? Hang on, just get one first and then the other. No, I'm just sorry. No, you'll stuff it up. Oh, he's got the double whammy. Oh, yeah. That's when you know it's good fishing. Now what are you going to do? <laughs> oh, perfect. Two bags, two spears. All right, let's go again. No worries. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. You go that one. Now wait here just a second. 
Don't put it in your bag just yet. Oh, beautiful. This is a thumper. Oh. Oh, I'm not really filming. There. Nice. Oh, awesome. Double. Tiffin. Just got back to the boat. Got a nice bag of flounder here. Yeah, Tiffy Min. Oh, beautiful. Oh, 1550 gets the job done. Perfect. Time to clean them. Nice few flounder in there, all cleaned up. Beautiful job. So I was just about to get into bed, but I spotted a flounder right there. Got him. No, that's um, that's a bit of a bonus, isn't it? Well, good morning. It's come up a bit windy here this morning, but um, had a pretty good sleep on the boat last night. Just rolled the swag out on the deck. Everything went pretty well. It only just fit there, the single swag, but um, no, I could not sleep. Didn't wake up once I went to sleep, and um, that's perfect. I didn't worry about putting any poles up, but next time I probably could do that, but it wasn't too bad. I'm actually pretty impressed with how quiet this hull is. It's, it doesn't ting on the water, especially even notice that 2400's a bit louder on the water than this. It's very quiet. But, um, no. Good sleep, we just got to decide what's going on next. A little bit of wind around this morning. But we made the call to either stick it out, stay the day or go home. We've decided that we're going to stick it out and try and target a kingy, so we made the punch, it's about half an hour steam. Pretty confused sea here, but um, the boat handles it quite well at the moment. Uh, as soon as we pull up, we're going to try for a kingy and see what else we can find. So hopefully the wind doesn't blow up any more than it is now. We'll see what we can find. First kingy on the 1550. It's not a real big one, but um, hopefully we can upsize it from there. Just cooked up a bit of a feed for breakfast, which is good. Now we're going to try target a whiting and then um, see what happens after that. But, um, we've got a long day ahead of us before we can get back to the boat ramp with the tide, so got plenty of time, but up our sleeves. First whiten in the... Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's pretty big. <laughs> oh. I was trying to show him. That's oh, yeah, and we're right at the front of the snag. Oh. Yep, first whiten. He's a pretty slippy bug. I better hold on to him tight this time. Oh, you fucking dog. <laughs>